Good morning guys. Welcome to day number three of this fishing trip. If this is the first video you've come across, why don't you go ahead and check out day number one and two. I'll put a link to them in the description box. Out here with my brother Walker and we're fishing for smallmouth bass. And uh, this is the last day we have. Day one and two were killer. So go check those videos out. And again, welcome to the video. You know what? A beautiful morning. The water is glass this morning. Yesterday we were dealing with some thunderstorms, but we pushed through them and it turned out to be a really good day. But so far day one was the best day for big fish. Let's see if we can top it this morning. I have a good, I have a good feeling about it. Walker's ready to rock and roll. Guess what we're doing this morning? Top water, baby. <laughs> we're gonna try and get some strikes on film. Conditions are perfect for it. So. The conditions really are. Top water, it is. We're gonna make our first spot. We'll be there in about 10 minutes. trying that top water bite guys it's perfect conditions for it so I'm throwing the neon yellow and kind of the white popper I think Walker's got a little bit of orange on his so here it is first cast of the day <coughs> it's cool with this fog yesterday I caught the biggest fish of the day on a top water popper just at last light it's so calm out here. We're the only people at the boat ramp again. Let's try this side of the boat. Why not? Try jig, we're gonna mix it up. Walker's still on top water, but we're gonna throw a couple things at him in this one spot and see if we can get him to strike something. Drag this across the bottom. This is the uh, crawdad imitator type of jig. Just work it really slow across the rocks. The fog is so cool looking. We need to get a fish for a picture here. Here we go, first fish of the day on the on the little jig here. That's the second time that fish hit that in the same exact spot. <laughs> How cool. Here we go. Uh, not really, but we'll put him in the net just in case. All right guys, first fish of the day on that. On the jig. Right on the upper lip there. That was cool because I, he hit it. I decided to cast to the right, give it a break for a minute. Then I put it right back in there and it hit it again. So there's fish number one of day number three. These things are cool. Sweet. Yeah, just like the typical, you're bouncing along the bottom then do douche, you know? <laughs> that was red. We hit that first spot for about 20 minutes. Caught one fish. Now we're here into our second area. And this is where I caught that big fish yesterday on the topwater popper. So Walker's going to keep throwing the topwater. And I think I'll get back on the jig. Let's see what we can produce here. Oh, man. It's still such a pretty morning, guys. Check that out. Walker just hooked up on the top. <laughs> I heard it. I heard it. Oh, yeah. Nice one. You gonna want the net? Yeah, that's it. All right. Oh, sweet. Yes. <laughs> there you go, Walker. You got your top water bite this morning. <laughs> Way to start it off. Oh. Oh, yeah. 
corner, yeah. Is that the on the inside of the lip though? Check it out. <laughs> Sweet. Pretty nice one. First fish from the morning. That yeah. He's got on him. Yeah, he's got a little scar from something. I wonder what happens there. That's sweet. Alright, let's keep throwing. See you, dude. Oh, oh take us, that. <laughs> give us a shower, we need it. <laughs> well, I'm back in the game. Walker just slammed those two fish back to back, so I figured I better get a line in the water. Oh, what? Finally! Finally, I've been wanting to get a top water strike on the GoPro. <laughs> Perfect timing. That was like way out. Like Walker caught those two right on the bank. And I got that one further out. Oh yeah, it's a good one. That's a good one. Ooh. Oh man. Dude, I don't know if these like less colored ones are males or what, but if that's a male, that's the biggest one I've caught. Look at that fish. How cool. It is kind of a little more colored up than those last two you caught, huh? He's got some bars on him. Yeah. Pretty, pretty, pretty fish. Way cool, man. On the top water, too. Let's look at that. That's so sweet. <laughs> well, let's let him go. I love these smallmouth, man. I haven't caught many smallmouth. Caught a lot of largemouth. This stuff is addicting. There you go, back to the bottom. <laughs> nice work. Yes. Finally, I was about like, that's at that point where you're like, I'm in the depths, you know? I should start reeling it, man. <laughs> what do we got? What do we got? Another nice one on the popper. Man, I just had a heart breaker. I had a fish uh, hit my top water and I missed him. Oh. Wonder if this is it. <laughs> Pretty decent fish. Yeah, he's a good one. A little bit above average, I'd say. That's cool. About the same size as that last one. Yeah, it's funny how some are just really dull in color like that. And some are just really pretty. Let her go. Man, typically if I miss a fish, it's like no big deal. I don't really get too wound up about it, but that one it is killing me. I don't know why. I, the fish was so close. I like literally saw it come out and take the top water. It took it underneath and I went to set the hook and it was gone. Look Wasn't there. there. That's right, I, I literally got a strike right there where Walker's at right now. That was such a cool top water strike. I was watching it. Should have been filming the dang thing, but I'm telling you guys, this happens like every half hour, 45 minutes. That was pretty fun to watch, though. Oh, he knows he's by the boat. Oh, shoot. Is it a net worthy? Yeah, I think. Maybe not. Maybe not, not a pretty crazy. good fight. Holy cow. Woohoo! Yeah, not what you did. <laughs> good job, man. Whew, that was fun. Just real shallow too. He hit it on the end of my cast. Yeah, that was sweet. I saw him come out of there. That was cool. It was only like two pops after it landed. Yeah. Hold him sideways. Ah, man, these fish are so cool, guys. Ah, let's keep at ready it. Ready for a spawn. Yeah, I think they're coming up real shallow. Maybe this, these are males. Probably starting to fan out the bed. <coughs> We'll see you, buddy. See if we can't find some more. It's a perch X pop. I really don't think it matters what color you have. It's just, it's got to be in the right areas. Eric's throwing a white and green head. Yeah, white body, green head. If you guys are enjoying this bass fishing video, do us a favor and give the video a thumbs up. And please subscribe, guys, if you haven't. We've, uh, Seems like the channel seems to be growing lately, so we appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for checking out our videos. Back to chucking and winding. 
Oh man, how funny. Can I say I called that one? He called it. <laughs> We're both watching. He just cast right by those base of that green trees like you want to watch me get blown up again. <laughs> Literally two seconds later. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, another. I'm thinking these are males, dude. Yeah. That's another male. That's a good sized male. Can't grab him. Yeah, I got him. <laughs> <laughs> How cool, man. Another good one. Gosh, beautiful morning. No boats on the water. And we're hitting them on top. Look at that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo, see ya. <laughs> Phil Collins in the air tonight. We did the morning bite for a little while. It's 10 a.m. now. We're gonna go back to camp, cook some bacon and eggs, and see how we feel. Walker might want to get back on the water before we leave, but uh, yeah, we'll have to see about that. Definitely we'll get some food and see how we feel. If we need some food, recharge the batteries. It's a perfect day out there, so it's hard to just leave, but we'll see how we feel. It's three days of this, really tears the body down. <laughs> I'm losing all my gains because I don't <laughs> eat any food. <laughs> Turkey, bacon, and eggs. Mine's halfway down. Walker's grabbing. He always gets first dish. So good. Just a gorgeous morning out here. No wind. Good temperature. Could be a little warmer, but it's... Uh, super overcast so it's just the sun just really hasn't come out much to warm it up hope oh, it's coming out right now <laughs> yeah it's time to grub and we'll have some decisions to make on if we want to go back out or not but I don't know I just don't know well well I hate to break it to you guys but that's the end of our trip Walker and I went back to camp cooked some breakfast and pretty much just hung out for a minute caught up with life and all that fun stuff and then we packed up and we're ready to make our journey home great trip though i hope you guys enjoyed the series that was a ton of fun walker invited me um golly's always invited me up here and we've never really made the trip happen and we were going to come last weekend but the weather is just looking too cold and we figured that the bass wouldn't be biting had we gone the last weekend so i'm glad we held out i definitely chose the right weekend for sure that was awesome weather Got on some good bites, big fish, a lot of fish. Can't ask for much more than that. Yeah. Successful trip. That was fun. I Like I said at the first part of the series, I've been kind of in the slumps when it comes to my fishing trips lately. Went to Florida with Bridget. We just, we caught fish, but nothing great. Um, we went up largemouth bass fishing. That was on the channel about a week ago. Caught and one. he caught one. <laughs> Same conditions, just kind of like thinking it wasn't warm enough. So that was fun to come out and actually have two and a half days on the water and not only catch fish, we caught a lot of fish on different lures. So top water, jerk baits, crank baits, tube jigs, and what are those other ones? Just they're just jigs, but that's jigs with a skirt. Jigs, yeah, skirted jigs. jig. So we caught smallmouth on five different types of jigs, which each one of them comes with its own challenge and its own techniques and I am by far no professional I don't I mean I'm always asking Walker like how to do it how to present it but I've really come to learn again this, guys I'm totally like beginner status on this stuff so bear with me if you're like experienced but presentation is so important like how you present it the speed of it don't yeah. you agree I mean that goes for top water that goes for bottom bouncers you can't just crank it in I don't know yeah, you gotta find out the right cadence and once you do it really gives you confidence in what you're doing and what you're fishing so, and that's the fun of it you know learning new baits learning new things i tried a new lure an underspin i had a bite on it yeah. but i didn't fish it a whole lot because i don't have that confidence in it yet but i should have kept going with it but that's all just the learning process of fishing and it's so cool like having walker as my brother he really took off with fishing he loves fishing way more than i do um but he's got the boat the tackle the gear everything so when i take him hunting i've got the gun the rifle you know the backpack and all the gear so it's kind of cool we get to 
get to like basically share our passions with each other on trips like this yeah. and and teach each other because like when I'm hunting I'm teaching him how to glass and look what to look for how to find embedded and the reasons why and he does that he does the same thing for me when it comes to fishing like this so it's a ton of fun I'm glad we have something like this yeah. in common with each other that we can do yeah, I can't wait for the deer hunt and do a muzzy tag this guy drew a muzzy tag guys yeah. we have a buck picked out so stick with us on this channel hunting season is gonna come quick so I'm sure you're gonna see a lot of uh, preparation videos a lot of fishing videos until then but Same. just remember, for you, for those of you that watch this video and follow us until the hunts, we already have, if, if he survived the winter, we already have Walker's number one buck. <laughs> and fingers crossed, if he shows up, that's most likely the like the only buck we're going to hunt. Yeah, I think it's the only nice one we've really had our eyes on up there at home. Walker's got a fishing channel. He hasn't uploaded to it in a long time. It's just called Walker Chesser. So go check that out. Find him on Instagram, Walker Boss. Yeah, I'm gonna try and get on that a little more. <laughs> I'm gonna try to keep it current, but appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you on the next video.